Hi, and welcome to week two of April. The theme this month is Swing Into Spring. Week two runs from April 10th through April 14th. For a warm up, we're gonna learn that April showers bring May flowers using our tambourines. So each student will pick a tambourine. They're gonna shake up high, down low, to the front, back, and side to side. Then we're gonna make some thunder by tapping on our tambourine. And then rain, we'll hold it up high, shake it as it comes down. And then we're gonna do our different walks around our circle. And we'll make thunder as we march. And we can make rain as we walk in releve. And then we'll chasse and make some more rain. For our attendance activity, each student will show their best tambourine trick. Then we will stretch. This week we're on bars and beam. Station number one on bars is a repeat station. We're gonna be working on our birdie perch again. So hands close together on the floor bar, one foot on each side, and then jump off to a safety stop. Station number two, we're jumping up to our front support and we're casting back to our feet. Station number three, we're gonna do our chin up pullover. We've been working on drills for a few weeks now. So we'll chin up, pull over, finish in a front support, and then forward roll nice and slow, holding on and with control. Station number three is a repeat station. We're doing front support travels. However, this week the bars will be a little bit higher, so the students will have to do more work with their upper bodies and show some flight as they travel. The last station on bars, we're gonna be doing a straddle hold, legs parallel to the floor. Miss Nicolina is a little bit tall, but the kids will have to hold up their legs using their muscles and count for three to five seconds. Then we'll head back to our circle of spring mats where we're gonna sit down in our open pike. We're gonna make thunder with our legs and then we'll make rain with our fingertips coming down. Then we'll make the sunshine come out overhead and then we'll turn our bodies to make rainbows with our bodies. And we'll repeat that twice. Then we'll head to our beam stations. Station number one, we're gonna be walking backwards. Last week we did it on a Velcro line. This week we're doing it on a floor beam and we'll start teaching brush touch step. So they're feeling the beam with their feet instead of turning and looking with their eyes. Station number two, we're gonna start practicing for our expo beam routine. We'll step up to forward walks all the way to the middle of the blue beam, squat down, stand up, then we'll turn sideways and do sideways walking to the end and jump off forward, finishing in our safety stack. Next, we're gonna be doing our releve walks again. Last week, we did them on a floor beam. This week, the beam's a little higher. So way up high on our tiptoes, reaching for the ceiling all the way down. The last station is on the high low beam. We'll do proper mount. So hands on, leg over, toes, knees, all the way to stand. And we'll turn sideways and do a part together over the butterflies, holding a round beach ball in front. All the way to the end, straight jump, dismount, and safety stop. For our fun activity, fun activity, we'll head back to our circle. We'll partner the students up. They're gonna make rainbows with their bodies again and take turns crawling under. Thanks and have a great week.